Uh, good day, Fakes. My name is Thomas Riley Poole. For those who are unaware, I received an email a couple months back asking if I wanted to be a part of this Raw Artist Showcase night, where I could showcase all my artworks. I was a bit iffy about the whole thing at first, but with a little bit of thinking, scanning, printing and sorting out my artworks, I decided to go along with it. So this is a process leading up to the night, and then the night itself. So you folks sit back and enjoy the video. Alrighty, cheers.
Alrighty folks, so that was the process leading up to the night and what you're about to witness now is the actual night. But let me inform you that I didn't film a whole lot, mainly because I was keeping myself busy with talking to people and didn't really have all the time to film. But I did film some stuff, so that's what I'm about to show you now. But I'm still going to fill you in on the gaps because it is a bit... How you going? Like, it's not really filmed to a professional extent, so... Yeah, so you're gonna have to bear with me on this one. Alrighty, so... I guess... I'll continue the video for you. So here I am just setting up the, I guess you could say like your store. Everyone's got their own section of store where they're selling the photography, jewelry, in my case, art. So it's all, it's, there's a whole range of different things. So I have, this is me at the moment just setting up my little section. Actually, the funny story is that I didn't actually, well, I wasn't really prepared for the whole night, so when I got there, I thought, I, I don't really have anything to hang up these paintings or to prop them up, so, but I did bring wire just in case, so that did come in handy for all the paintings I had. So that's what I was just doing in that last clip, just bending some wire just to give it a little bit of a easel, I guess you could say, a little table easel. So throughout the whole night they had um, musicians playing their music, singing their music and all that, so it was a really, it was a good night, lots of acts and they actually had a, a runaway model show as well, which you most likely see later in the video, but yeah, it was, they had everything there, it was a good night. cards I, um, I was originally going to get just use paper but then I did say to myself I can't just be handing out pieces of paper with my name on them so then I eventually ended up getting proper that I want to say it's proper but I just got some medium weight cardboard in a way and just used that to make my business cards and it actually turned out not too bad turned out alright This is my star of the night, the person who helped me the most for this whole event, helping me set up, which was a big hand. So definitely give her a round of applause because she's an incredibly, amazingly, beautifully, or beautiful woman. And I'm just like the core of my girlfriend. I just have to put that in there. I mean, it's all true. So with the clips that me and my girlfriend Emma were filming, <laughs> wasn't, we weren't really trying to 
film a professional video, it is a bit, we're just like having a laugh, as you can see Emma's behind this door, I'm asking her what she's selling, and she's replying as in beer, so, I don't know, it's a little, it's a little bit of jokes here and there, you know, you know how it goes. So is this your store? What are you, what are you selling here today? Yeah. Oh, it's um, beer? Yeah. Nothing else? What's behind you? I don't know. This is nice. This is quite quaint. <laughs> you got anything to say yourself? No. Me and Monty ended on two. at the Orange Centre for the Royal Australian Artists Night. Royal Australia's Natural World Artist Showcase. There's the sign up there. Is it filmed to the stage? Can't see stage it. It's a, it's a good night. Yeah, it's a good night here. Yeah. Another world thing. So a nice world. Got the perfect prints right here. Got all the original work in the backboard. So I'm actually filming my self-portrait right now mainly because I actually ended up selling this original art that night at the Raw Australia Showcase night. First painting I've ever actually sold so I mean I'm pretty proud of myself. wasn't actually expecting to sell anything but then in a way I was mainly because I was getting everything ready and like getting prints of things because, I don't know, me personally, I get too attached to my paintings and don't really want to sell them, but, I mean, I was happy, it was, I'm sure it went off for someone nice, but it's funny because out of all the works I sold, I ended up selling a self-portrait, so some young chaps got my, <laughs> my ugly mug hanging up in his living room, I mean, each to their own, I mean, if you like it, you like it, I guess. It is, got it, I have to say, it is one of my most realistic paintings. I know my paintings aren't really realistic. I like to take it more to an abstract scene, mainly because I don't even know how to paint other than abstract. <laughs> but, I mean, they were happy. First painting I ever sold, so not too bad, which is actually why I have that big canvas hanging up there at the moment is because I have to obviously move on to a new self-portrait so after I do this video I'm going to head it straight over and start filming that so I've got something to look forward to and so do I because it's always fun to actually paint it especially self-portrait I always try to make them the most realistic of all my portrait paintings so yeah right, let's move on This is actually the runway show that I was talking about before and yeah, they were really good, some good costumes, most certainly. There's some really talented people out there. Yeah. Same before me, we <laughs> don't really know what we're doing, so we're just, I don't know, just taking the mickey out of things, just filming whatever, just not, as I was saying, we're not professional filmers or videographers, you would call them. What's your favourite? I like the Here we are, 
packing up for the night. So the showcase night is over, taking all the paintings down and hooking them from the little wires we had up there. So that's us packing up for the end of the night. Alright, and here's me leaving the venue with, of course, my hat and now Emma's hat as well, which she recently just bought from an op shop. So. We could find, I mean, ten dollar hat, and it's a bargain, definitely. So here's both of us with our cowboy hats. And Emma's just pointing out the young fellow that actually bought my self portrait, because I want, obviously I wanted to say bye and then just get a photo of, of him and the painting. So now he is us walking down the stairs, still leaving the venue. This is me towards at the end of the night wanting him to get all the professional video shots to put into this video and it's a bit late now and the show's already over but anywho <laughs> walking off into the night Alright, so here are some photos of the actual night that I thought I'd pop in at the end of the video and I'll run my way through them and let you know what's going on in the photo. So here's me with the wire just cutting up and making a um, hook shape so I can get them on the fence and then onto the, the canvas frame. So that's what that is. Doing the same thing, I've hanged up a couple more paintings. Here's just a close up of one of my latest paintings. Still hooking up in paintings, I had a lot of so. It took quite a, took some time to get the whole thing up and running. I think it was a solid two hours we were working on that little store for. finally finished just laying out the prints and now the prints are finished so that's the how it looked at the end of the night which is good
some close-ups of my close-ups of my um, business cards that I that I printed out and cut up. So that's right, um, all the visual artists and photographers had to go up on stage and talk about, or had to go up on stage with one of the works and talk about it in a way and then show them where your store is located and what social media is they can follow you on, so that's what I'm doing right here. And he, they had a fellow up there asking questions and you just had to answer them. It was pretty funny, actually, yeah. Got a funny story about that because they, I feel, I feel like they have to make it a bit short. So every time I wanted to say something, he would take the mic back off and then ask another question. And the first question he asked me was, "So what? What? What's this painting? What do you got here? Tell us about it." And I actually have this little story to tell about it because it's the painting of my wonderful girlfriend Emma playing a game of pool. And I was just going to mention, oh, yeah, "So this is my wonderful girlfriend Emma." And then he took the microphone back off and asked, oh, is she around here tonight? But I was actually going to say, this is my wonderful girlfriend Emma playing Game of Pool, which she did not win, by the way. But no, I wasn't allowed to put that joke in. I mean, it is what it is. But yeah, no, it was a fun night. I guess they just wanted to hurry everyone up because tight schedule. chap that actually bought my self-portrait so it's a photo of me holding a beer while he is holding the self-portrait that I painted of myself so yeah that's the young fellow I went off to so congratu congratulations to him take care of me if you ever see this video <laughs> Here is a beautiful photo of me and my wonderful, amazingly, stunningly, the list can go on, girlfriend, Emma. So yes, that's us two at the store. It's actually a really nice photo. I kind of wish I was smiling a bit more, but I'm just giving a little, a little smile, trying to keep it subtle and professional. And... That was the night, so yeah, it was really successful. I had a ball of fun and looking forward to the next one. So yeah, I'll most certainly we'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, overall it was a good night and there's not too much else I can say about it. I'm happy I didn't sell any more paintings because as I was saying before, I'm way too attached to them. So I'm happy I can hold on to them for a little bit longer. Yeah. Alrighty, so all I can say now is thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to give it a like. And if you liked it more than that, make sure to give me a subscribe because it'll help a lot. Alrighty, cheers for that, folks, and I'll catch you later.